So, I want to talk to you all about, ooh, the mic's over there. Let me fix that. Okay, hopefully that's a little better with the sound. But today we're going to talk about red alia or alia salt. If I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, please do me a favor and slide in my DMs on Instagram and send me a voice message of how to actually pronounce it. If you don't know how to pronounce it and you're trying to get in my face, we're going to fight about it. It's that simple. It's that simple, bro. Do my damn hip out. Ugh. Eat some sunflower seeds. You all understand this about me by now, right? Okay. Good. All right. So the reason why it's called red alia salt is because it is, it's mixed with this red volcanic clay. Well, actually, let me rewind. So first of all, this is called Hawaiian red alia salt. Okay, so it's unrefined, unrefined sea salt that's mixed and baked with this red clay. Now, the way it used to be made, like traditionally, what it would do is the water would come in, right, through the tides and stuff, end up in a little pool next to the volcano. Then when the sun baked everything down, it'll just evaporate all the water out, leaving nothing but salt crystal. that have been mixed with this nice red powder. And it looks like, if you can see it, it looks like this. So it's red crystallized salt. It's, that's not that salty. It's salt, but it doesn't taste salty. Like it's, it's salty, but it's not salt. Anyway, it's a gourmet salt that's imported from Hawaii. Um, let me get some more. All right, so one cool thing about this salt is that ancient Hawaiians and probably Hawaiians still today use it to like clean stuff, but not just like regular stuff. It was like to clean the homes and then to clean like temples and stuff. It was a real sacred, sacred salt that was actually even said to be able to heal bones. Now, the reason why it was said to be able to heal bones was because it contained or it contains still currently 80 out of 93 minerals that you can get in this world. So this one salt has 80 of those minerals in it, okay? 80. No other salt has, is, is as nutrient dense as this salt. Like when people ask me, am I salty? Yes, because I'm always eating salt, nutrient dense salt. That's why I look so good. That's why you don't, Gerald. This, actually Gerald, I'm sorry. You're a great looking guy, my bad. Don't, Don't judge, judge me. me. Now I know you're probably wondering, like Mike, what is it about this salt? Why why is this salt in this conversation? Well, because I use it in Lufin, okay, and I also use it in one of my bath soaks. The reason why I use it because it does a great job of removing toxins from the skin, right? Once you, I was expecting more of like a a boom. I'm gonna rerun that same part again but I'm going to add like a big explosion to the back. Like not, we'll see how it comes out. It might be crappy. But anyway, the reason why I like this salt is because it does, like it detoxifies the body. So when you're using this in a skin scrub or in a bath soap or however you want to do, your skin's going to absorb this stuff. And when it absorbs it, it's going to remove those toxins from your body. Remember, this whole thing's about removing toxins from your body, destroying inflammation, like unnecessary inflammation, and making sure your body, you're at optimum health. If this salt, which contains 80 out of 93, 93, right? Yep, 93. 93 minerals can help out with that. Why wouldn't I use it in the products that I want you to try? Just saying. Why wouldn't I do that? Um, yeah, so that was my plug there. Uh, hmm. Well, that's about it, really. If you if you like this video, you know, subscribe to the channel. I'm almost at a thousand. Feeling pretty hype about this. Getting, feeling pretty dope. They say the first one thousand is the hardest, so we'll see how true that holds up. And uh, yeah, if you're watching this on IGTV, do me a favor and like like this video and tag a friend of yours, like preferably your dusty and crusty and unattractive friend, so we can help them out and make them feel good together. Right? All right. Yeah, so I'm out of here. Uh, whoo!